Today, we have arrived at a beautiful and interesting place, which is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the Carpathians. This place is named Hoverla, and it's the famous symbol of Ukraine. Most tourists try to climb to the top of the highest mountain in the country, and we decided to be one of them. Sounds tempting, doesn't it? the bottom of Mount Goverla. Yeah, it's the highest mountain in the Ukraine. It's around 2,061 meters above sea level. Yeah, and we're gonna climb. That's why we dress up like that. Yeah. Yeah. But it's proper outfit to get there. Uh, Mom and Dad don't really say what's going on, but I'm gonna try to climb. Do you like it? Yeah, Have I like it. Have you ever it done it? I climbed the volcano once, yes. Oh, cool girl. So, so I'm pretty excited for this this mountain. I can feel it. Her vibe <laughs> since last evening was so... Go there and I was like, are you sure we want to do that instead of going to another city? But yes, uh, our route is uh, going to last for four hours. Uh, up, up and, yeah, it will... and then down. Actually, how about the weather? The weather conditions can change a lot, mm -hmm. but now in the summer, it could, the temperature will be like 35 degrees as the highest. The highest and the lowest? And the lowest is um, 10 to 12 degrees. Okay, and they told us that it may be sunny or windy or rainy. You never know mm. which condition we're going to face. So, are you prepared enough? Yes, I'm very prepared and ready. Yeah, I'm not. But <laughs> let's do this. I'll support you. Yeah, for sure. We're friends. Okay. Join us. Come on, let's go. The route to Hoverla's top lies through the most stunning landscapes in the Ukrainian Carpathians. Hoverla climbing will give you a great sense of lightness and freedom. No, it's not for me. Be sure to take enough water and food wear comfortable shoes. The first section of the route is the easiest one. It passes through the forest. Then you'll go across an area of shrubs and reach the beautiful meadows. It's the best place to enjoy the beauty of unspoiled Carpathian nature. I recognized the leaves, but I didn't see any blueberries before, but they have them, a lot of them back home. I need to grow a bit, <laughs> but still it's blueberries, it's nice. Can you see the clouds over there? That's the hill that we are going now. On top of that mountain. Yeah. We're gonna manage to do that? Yeah, of course we will. We come pretty far. Mm -hmm. We are more than the half of the route back there. Go to the, to the route to the, to the mountain. But I feel already exhausted. 
And the, my biggest fear is the way back because they told us that the way back is harder than the yeah, way out. Yeah, it can be a struggle actually. But, yeah. Uh, we will support each other. You will, you will manage to. You won't regret going up there for we sure. We will see. They told us that there might be coffee and sugar and Yeah, the coffee there. is the main attraction. <laughs> yeah. They told us there's a guy around 70 years old, but uh, uh, so, um, every day, close to every day, he goes there. Yeah, imagine going yeah. up every day for like doing that. I would just buy a uh, borrow, not buy actually, I cannot, helicopter and go there for a job, you know, just yeah. selling water, but <laughs> my, my helicopter. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's, let's move go. on. The length of the route is about four kilometers, and it takes approximately six hours round trip. But the top of Mount Hoverla gives you a unique opportunity to enjoy the surrounding landscapes. Be aware that the weather on the top of Hoverla is unpredictable. Even if at the bottom it's sunny and pleasant, on the top it might be rainy, windy, and cold. What's more, the name Hoverla originates from Hungarian and means snow mountain because the top is covered with snow for most of the year. For this reason, all tourists should take warm clothes and raincoats. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we are here actually in the top of nowhere because we are in the highest Ukraine mountain. The name is Goverla. Yeah, and it's in Carpathian Hills, right? Yes, you're right, correct. Uh, it was really tough to get here. We have uh, climbing for more than close to four or five hours, but it was uh, the road was like that. It was a kind of difficult terrain. Yeah. Still. It's. Yeah, it's uh, the view deserves everything. We have to accept it, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I have to say that I enjoyed the climb. Yeah, I did. I actually didn't enjoy it a lot because it was my first time, and I have to say that because it was the first time, it was really tough for a beginner. But hopefully, our production team and all the company that we are working for that lovely project helped me a lot, and I never felt alone. Yeah, that's good. But and you were strong. You have to. No, you you helped me a lot. Yeah, I, but you were strong. People, some people might have said like, no, I can't do this. But no. you continue. That's it good. was an experience. I'm not sure if I'm gonna suggest it to anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is that okay, in case you're just with your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whatever, and you are afraid of heights and edges, don't do that to yourself. Okay? <laughs> Trust me, don't. I wouldn't do that. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We are about to look more enthusiasm, but we the time we arrived there was there is a local guy here who sells coffee in the middle of nowhere actually. Yeah, that was the like main yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, how to get up on the top mm -hmm. was that we we knew that there were actually or might would have been coffee here. But after that coffee, we just have a rest, like 20 minutes nap under the sun, the sun mm, is shining that here. Was nice. But on the way here, it wasn't signing, it was windy and close to rain. And uh, now we are a bit of tired. I am a bit of tired. What about you? I don't feel that tired, to be honest, but probably I will get more tired uh, yeah, later on. Back, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The good thing, the bad thing is that when you get on the top of a hill, it's nice, but the way down makes you feel more tired. For me. It's, it, it can be a bit harder to go down, but yeah. uh, still it's quite worth the effort because the scenery and the views is amazing. really nice. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. A really nice vibe here. Thank you for watching us and uh, let's continue the way to the way back. <laughs> Hopefully we're going to be back and have a sauna. They told us that we're going to have a sauna at the we're hotel. We're going to have a sauna? Yeah. Wow. In case we don't have, I knew someone that I can call and give me sound. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank yeah, you, thank everyone. You. And you, girl. <laughs> Without a doubt, 
Hoverla hiking will become one of the most vivid memories in our lives. It's not easy, but it's a must-do thing in the Carpathians. There, you can make a new friendship between different countries. Almost everyone can climb Hoverla and take a selfie from the highest point in the Ukraine. But it's time for us to go down to explore a new point of destination, a Carpathian farm, which produces natural cheese. This farm is located at the foot of the mountain. Another one? Это уже после сау, сэра. Oil, cheese, so this is what they would eat in a pie. Ah, it's for pies. Yeah, it's like a... Uh... Yeah, that's actually even better. That tastes mm. even more like it. This is like the Greek mizithra. I don't know if you know the word. It's a Greek traditional cheese, made for pies. Mm. It's really, really nice. Yeah. Mm, I really like this. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. 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 Um, it's quite salty and like great. Very salty. Mmm. Ah. It's like mizifra. Mm. Parmesan. Yeah. You know? uh, uh, for him, for uh, him, uh, it's like parmesan. Very salty. Very <laughs> salty. I love it. It was good, but a bit too salty, I think. I like it. I like this one. Well, a really tiring day comes to an end. What's your feelings? My feeling is uh, I feel uh, quite refreshed. Yes. Because I really enjoy this uh, walk up to the Goverla. So I'm happy that we did it. How yeah. about you? I'm happy that I achieved it because I was thinking that I couldn't make it. But now I just want to go back to the hotel and have a rest. Yeah, yeah you deserve it. And yeah. you were so good today yeah. that actually made a whole oh. climb. <laughs> because of you all. So, thank you for watching us. Subscribe our channel and keep on for the next episode. Yes, see you. Bye bye. After exploring the Carpathian Mountains, we decided to go to the amazing city Chernivtsi. This is a modern city with significant history and a charming atmosphere. In its beautiful, natural setting are buildings of fine architecture, many sculpted monuments, green parks, and inviting squares. So let's see what we came for. Well, <laughs> we are in the Venice of Ukraine. Its name is... Chernivtsi. And we are actually in front of uh, the prominent building of Chernivtsi Other University. One. Yeah, otherwise it's called like Hogwarts of Ukraine. Yeah. And Hogwarts is the school of Harry Potter. Yeah, and actually it has a kind of uh, architecture. And uh, as we have been told uh, from locals, this city is well known about the architecture and for that university. So let's check out how it looks. Inside, yes. Come on and join. Chernivtsi National University is a public university in the city. The university architecture includes Renaissance, Gothic and Moresque elements, with emphasis on the Roman Byzantine style. 
Well, the sun is shining. We get access uh, inside the uni. That is really nice. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. See. So what do you feel it. being here? How it seems to you? I think it's a pretty cool university. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be nice to actually meet some students, but as we said before, summer they are probably time. having uh, yeah. leave during the summer. But it's really impressing the building and the room. It feels like a university, but very, how do you say it, like proud university. I would from uh, subscribe, I would describe it as a more pop university. What I mean by saying pop is that because of the color of the rooftop, uh, it's something like a traditional uh, pattern that they use here in Ukraine. And uh, it looks like they, they are based on tradition, but in a more modern way. That's why they have painted the rooftops in that color. You can see purple, green, blue, everything. It's quite... Yeah, and we said we said yeah. before that it looks like a gingerbread house, the rooftop. Yeah. <laughs> but it's really, but it's very, it's nice. It's really nice. Mm. Join us. that we got access at that university. The long, long corridor, as you can see, it reminds so much, so much like Harry Potter style. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really beautiful, how this was, corridor. How was the name of uh, his best friend, the girlfriend? It's uh, Hermione and... Uh, the, the girl. The girl is Hermione. Hermione? Ah, yeah. Hermione, yeah, yeah Hermione. and I am Harry. So we're looking for the third person. So in case someone else is the third person, just Subscribe and join our team. I'm just joking. It's really nice here. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, the walls here, it's really, really nice. I love it. I really enjoy it here. It makes you to be more devoted in what you are about to do in a uni. What I mean, generally speaking, is that it's really nice universities to be, as buildings, quite motivational for for students, you know, mm. they want to study and to focus and to spend time here. It's a nice yeah. uh, energy. Sure thing. It's a cool, uh, cool place. I could easily study here. Me too. Unfortunately, I didn't study here. No, me neither. <laughs> but it's never too late to I'm, do something else. I'm quite old now, I feel. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Yes, let's go. You know, uh, they gi they give us a vibe, a really vibrant. Yeah, because they're teenagers. Empathy. Yeah, and they're really like. Woo! Didn't you feel older? No. I, I, why I felt so old with them? I don't know. I was like, oh, you know. In Greece, we have a phrase. We say that there, every family has a person who goes with the youngest uh, of the family and say, oh, I'm gonna be uh, sitting here in order to feel more energetic. And it's a joke for us. They're running. <laughs> ah, yeah. They were lovely, 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 yes, lovely. Yes, we love them. Yeah. Good, yeah, good, good. Somebody. Continue to explore us. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Well, 
After all that huge energy, we met a group of people, teenagers, that they were like a, a moving uh, source of energy, right? Yeah, like a moving party. Yeah, and so where we are now? We are at uh, Kobylianski Street. Yeah, it used to, call, to be called Panka, right? Yes, yeah. that's right. And it's the, the main is stream, uh, it's the mainstream uh, of that city. Actually, as we read about that, uh, and we realize that you can see an Apple store and everything. So not Apple store, but I mean, you can find many, many uh, shops and stores, uh, or even Louis Vuitton, Yves Saint Laurent, all the brands are here. Yes. It's the most, uh, how can you say, it? fabulous street? Yeah, most fabulous and most popular street. Yeah. For. Uh, and uh, in the beginning the of yeah, in the beginning to. of the city center story, uh, whenever a guy or a girl wanted to have uh, a partner or to get married, that's old. Uh, it's the only way to connect with people. In a way, they've been dressed up really fudgy yeah. and pretend that they are having uh, fun here. And that's how they communicate with each, each other. How do you find that? Do you like it? That way of uh, finding a partner? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's, uh, it's it better. Sounds quite, it sounds quite uh, yeah. fair. I like fair it. Fair and easy. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, so, tonight. <laughs> Let's uh, dress up uh, really right yes. for the uh, situation, and who knows, maybe we might be couple. We might find our couple. Yeah, may we might find some company. <laughs> yeah, but because we are not sure about that, so still we just uh, have each other. Huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it's fine by me. Yeah? It's fine by me too, yeah. actually. Join us. <laughs> It has been a long day. We walked a lot and got a little hungry, so we wouldn't mind grabbing a bite. That's why we're going to a popular local restaurant. This restaurant is well known for seafood, so we've asked dishes, uh, the best dishes with seafood. So let's start with the first one, okay? Yeah, let's try it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fresh, yeah, right? It's really tasty. Giacogio. Giacogio. Much smaller. Thank you. These are huge. I don't know if you ever could afford them, but let's try on and we won't see, right? Yeah. Okay. So, next plate? Yeah, we, we, try, we, yeah. <laughs> we go to the next plate. We go to this one. Well, they smell really intense. I mean, they you might be barbecue. Yeah, 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 sure. Thing. They might be like a barbecue shirt. Oh, it's, it's quite chilly. Can you feel it? This barbecue sauce. Yeah, it smells like barbecue sauce. Yeah, yeah. Do you want lemon? I can take some lemon, yes. Yeah, sure. Give me a second. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> well, uh, normally it, we weren't able to eat with our hands, but now because we're tired, we don't really think about that, right? No. I think that we should have put our hands. Oh, I don't want to. Why? Why it seems so uh, alive? <laughs> yeah, to, to take away the part. Yeah. I, uh, oh no, no. How do you, how do I do that? Uh, here we are. <laughs> It's really tasty. Yeah, it's very good. Maybe some sauce though. But I think it might be quite um, chilly. Oh, I think so. We don't uh, eat the outside uh, part, no? No, you can just like... Uh, just... Uh, yeah, like these ones are... Right. 
actually. I think we'll leave it like that. For those who are looking at our YouTube channel, I have to say that it's not so cool to eat and to have two people stare at you. So, oh, one oh. more. <laughs> <laughs> we are lucky. Oh, no. Jack or Joe. So please keep in mind that it's not nice to, to, to eat and to be viewed by so many people. But... Who mm. could uh, taste this, the third plate, the third dish? Yeah, but I heard it was uh, like mussels. mussels. So, so I, I need to be a bit uh, careful okay. because I, I am allergic. a bit allergic to it. Okay, uh, since I'm not, I can try on this. Well, and the third plate is here. It's mu mussels. Wait, there is the proper way to serve it. Ah, now I understand what it is. Mm. I can try the sauce. I mean, yeah, I don't need to eat. Uh, yeah. Mm. One, two, three, deep breath and go. <laughs> mm. Very good. The, 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 sauce the, is amazing. the bread was really nice also. It's crunchy. Together, yeah. It's like rye bread, but dry. Mm. By far, this is the best dish. For people who really love uh, sauces like me, it's really, really cool. Oh, our beers, oh. okay. Thank lovely. you so much. Okay. It was a lovely dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's... Uh... Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Everywhere. Yeah, and... Um, yeah, why not? You should be here. Well, we just wanted to finish our... This episode, maybe, yeah? So, thank you for watching us. Another tiring day came to an end. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And keep on watching us. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>